Hello, my name is Amy Jo Cairns and I'm a first year student from Largy College in Clonus. I am sorry I didn't get to meet you all in Dundalk, so I decided to make this video to show you how enthusiastic I am about my project and also to show you the timeline and evidence of the work I carried out. I love science in school and despite only being in first year, I've already won science competitions this year. My project is based on dairy cows and their production of milk. The objective of my study was to investigate to see if the dairy cow could produce more milk in social isolation or if they would produce more milk with the herd. My hypothesis is that the cow would feel less stressed with her herd than she should produce more milk than if she was in social isolation. Before studying my experiment along with the usual safety procedures from being on a farm and experimenting with an animal, I also had to be aware that COVID-19 was happening and I had to keep within a two kilometer radius of the house and follow all the HSC guidelines. This is my new best friend Betty. Please don't tell my friends at school though, they'll only get jealous. What can I say about Betty? Only that she's a nice and quiet cow, so that is why I picked her. This is Betty's baby calf, which I looked after also. Here is all the milking equipment that I used and Betty would be milked twice a day in social isolation for three weeks and then milked with her herd for three weeks. I ensured that my cow was fed with fresh grass and silage throughout the experiment and at the same time each day. The week before the experiment started, I took these readings and they were on average 27.8 litres a day, so this was my control for this experiment. When Betty spent week 1 in isolation, her milk production slowly decreased by nearly over 8.6% and then week 2 isolation, her milk production went down 14.7% that week. And in week 3 isolation, her milk production showed a further decrease of 1.6%. Overall, there was a decrease in 26.4% in total over the 3 weeks. Right, that was enough. I wanted to reunite Betty back to her herd. After being in isolation for 21 days, Betty was more than happy to be reunited with her herd. In the first week, there was an increase of 15.8% and in the second week, there was a 5.8% increase and in week 6, the milk production went up from 25.6% to 28.2%. In the the three weeks of being reunited with her herd, her milk production rate increased by 34.9%. A clear trend can be seen on my graph here. There was a steady decrease and then it increases again. If I had shown you this graph at the beginning, you may have guessed at what stage Betty was put back with her herd. My, my hypothesis was supported. I feel that this is a project that due to the current crisis, we may be able to relate to a bit more with now that we are totally understand what it's like to be isolated. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and this project gave me something to do every day during lockdown and I learned skills that I wouldn't have been able to do in the classroom.